So I just want to get into this word. I don't, I just, because I, I've tried so many times to, I have been trying since March the 8th to record this word. Like I've been trying. And every time I try, I want to talk about in my own life, something that God has literally had to fight with me about to be able to get me in a place of really walking in receiving that God has done this for me since last year. And even before last year, I, I left Atlanta with this thing in my heart, not paying attention, not thinking it could be God, not like way, it was way back here, way, way, way back here in, in, in like the back of my head. And last year, and it just, it, it wouldn't leave me. It just would not leave me. And so last year, which God said that last year was going to be personal. Like me and God had some conversation about it. I talked about it. Uh, I talked to people about it. People that, and nobody could get the bigness of this thing. Like, like nobody could really understand where my faith and desire and expect, where this even came from. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't really know about that with God. Like, I don't know if God does stuff like that. Like that seems a little carnal, a little worldly Romania. And so me and God, and last year, God had to spend a lot of time, like a, daily talking to me about me and my struggle with all of the ways that I just could not wrap my faith around, not even the fact that it was done, just the fact that God is saying that that's available for you. Forget about the fact, I, I'm not even at the point that it's done. It's just getting to the to the truth that God is saying that's available to you. We can slice and dice the story of the children of Israel any way you want to, but from Exodus to Ezekiel, the truth of the matter is God, them wrapping their hearts around God saying this is available for you. I, I know, I know, I know y'all have 400 years, generation, generation, generation of mistreatment, oppression, but but still, right? By the time he gets to Ezekiel, the word for to the prophet is, can this valley of dry bones live? He's talking about the nation of Israel here. He's like, can this nation really flourish? Our lives are like that. And, and here is the thing. We get frustrated. Like we in a place of frustration with God about the lack of performance when the frustration is not God's portion. It's our portion. You can't out faith frustration. Trust me, I've tried. At the end of the day, you have to let go of the old. You have to let go. Oh, I've let go. No, you haven't. That's why you're so easily triggered. That's why in the back of your, your brain is the how. How though? How though? Every time I get to that place right, the Holy Spirit takes me right to Hebrews 11 and 1. Right to the second part of that scripture that says, faith is the evidence of what you don't see. Why do you need a how when you got it? You've bypassed the how. The how is still in the line and you inside the club. Like the how is texting you like, like, like how you, bro, I'm in the club. Don't worry about me. I'm good. I'm in the club. Don't, what are you, what are you doing? Do you like... And every time, and even this month, right? Like this month, which made about 14 months, I've been sitting with this thing. Even this month, right? Something popped up on March the 8th. And it, it really looked like for my, because because everything I have been thinking about was my own limitations. Why I didn't feel qualified enough. Why I didn't think God was going to do this huge, amazing, beautiful thing. All the things, right? And then... This month, it looked like the the thing itself was like, yeah, it's a no. It was it was like I was looking at something where this thing from even its own its own visibility looked shut off. Like it wasn't when the children of Israel are at when they're at Jericho. It's not just their perception. They're no no longer in the book of Joshua. It's no longer their perception that the city is shut off. The Bible indeed says Jericho, like, like the citizens were like, no, we, we, we locked up in here. Y'all ain't coming in and we ain't coming out. And I was in a situation where somebody was like, you're not going to come in and I'm not budging. 
And I was like, okay, what is, yeah, I've never, <laughs> this is new. And God is like, no, it's not. And so it makes for me so much sense on how God had given me specific decrees to be speaking over this situation, which I was kind of like, shouldn't I be praying this way and not that way? But again, God's ways are higher than our ways, his thoughts. And I'm like, oh, and then when whatever showed itself this month, I was like, oh, that's why I've been praying this way the last 14 months. Oh my God. And I actually got excited because of the momentum God had been leading me in. And I want to speak to you, right? And I want to tell you, I, let me tell you something. And when I tell you, and I, I'm so serious about this. And if you are in any way closely connected to me, like in the, the membership side, and we talk in the telegram chat, it, let me tell you, God splits hairs about language. Listen, because people were actually, it was, it was through language that people were actually getting to a place that God said, if I don't scramble their language, they're going to actually, because they are on one accord, they're actually going to go a place where they shouldn't go just because of wrong agreement. When I tell you, you got to be so mindful what you put your agreement with and the words that you use. God splits hairs with me about agreement. If I see somebody in a hard place, even if I'm praying and I'm not going to connect no level of understanding with anything that is not my portion. I can pray for you and intercede with you without yielding my understanding. Like, oh, no. No. You think when, when the leper told Jesus, if you're willing and able, yeah, you know, I understand how you could say that, seeing that you're a leper. and all. Like, no, no. And so as God was dealing with me, right, splitting hairs with me about the way that I talk, about the way that I view faith, about what he is willing to do for me, what he is able to do for me. It's just been a journey, right? And I've been like, and every time I was like, okay, I think I'm good then God would show me where I needed to release a, this amount of darkness in this area and get in more light and get in more light. And yes, there is movement and having a posture of faith. Faith is not God is going to get me the house. Faith is I got the house. Faith is not God is going to get me the marriage. Faith is I got the marriage. Faith is not God is going to heal me. Faith is I'm healed. Even when you are looking at the, uh, it, you can't see it. You can't see it. You can't see it. And we are physical being. We are spiritual beings in physical form. We are spiritual beings in physical form in a physical reality. It is going to see time and harvest. See time. It is going to take time for that thing that you are calling done to catch up with the momentum of your mouth. It is going to take time. Oh, well, Jesus did it. You, you, you walking in that? And you, I'm talking about, okay, you got the Holy Spirit. Okay, you can fast. You walking in that level of perfection where you knew no sin. You've never worried. You've never, you were born in sin. So I want us to get out of that, that, you know, well, Jesus, okay. And, and if you want to, and, and the truth of the matter is we really do have that option because when we pray, it is done. So from the, from the level of heaven, it is instantaneous. It is just the seed time and harvest as far as the world, is, as far as the earth is, 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 is a part of the equation. As long as the earth remains, Genesis 8 and 22, as long as the earth remains, there will be seed time and harvest. So listen, I don't know what that thing is, right? But I'm telling you, just like I've always told y'all, you get out of, get out of your own way. Quit, quit going to God about the how. What do you need to know the how for when it's done? What are you talking about? Oh, well, I don't see it. That's how faith works. It's, of course you don't see it. You're supposed to not see it. But I mean, it's been a, it's been some time and I still not see it. Okay. And when you see it, it will be performance. I get it. I get it. And you're going to have to renew your mind. Hear this. Faith comes by hearing. Some of y'all over and over and over and over and over until that truth 
Jesus said, you know the truth, you continue in the truth, and then the truth sets you free. Some of y'all need to just keep decreeing that over and over and over. Meditate on the book of the law day and night <laughs> until the truth sets you free. Move past the how, move past the bigness, quit worrying about all these natural things, and just sit in the actual luxurious access that God has given you about this thing. You have like, God is like, not just any access, but luxury access. That big thing that people say, no, like, like where in the Bible did God ever play small with anybody? Where, where in the Bible does anything ever make sense? Where? God, like Jonah in the belly of a whale, like, like talk about extra. Talk about the shenanigans. Like, really, God? I couldn't have been Jonah because I would have been like, it took all this. We, we couldn't have talked no other way. <laughs> like, we are believers. So we read that and we believe it. But in our own lives, in our own lives, we so full of frustration and I don't understand and what's going on. But we read those stories and we so easily believe them. Right? Like, like that's like, do I really believe that? Because if I believe that that's my God, why am I struggling with the how concerning what God has said is mine? Like, why am I struggling? Then the question then becomes, that's not on God. That's me. That's me. Like, like David said, creating me a pure heart and a right spirit. Like, like, I'm sitting here really frustrated at you. It's, you can't out faith frustration. Trust me, your girl has tried. You got to release it. You got to forget it. Oh, I believed yesterday. God told me, like, I don't care if God told you this morning. You listening to this word, this is a new thing. This is a new thing. You sitting there inside the club still texting with the how. For what? I'm inside the club. I'm here. I don't need, why would I need to know how when I'm in the club? I'm, I got it. I'm here. It's done. Period. It's over. I'm good. 